Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very nice project. We are going to paint grapes, interesting grapes. But first, for those that are not from El Paso, I would like to show you my city. If you like, why don't we go on top of that building and we'll take a look around. I should do a video on parkour. All right, this is our city. It's a desert city. It's called El Paso, Texas. These mountains are called the Franklin Mountains. And that way is west. If we were to drive that way about five, six hours, we get to Tucson and Phoenix. Now we're going north. If we were to drive in that direction, it would be about four hours to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, in that general direction, over the hill there is Fort Bliss, the famous Fort Bliss. Now we're looking towards the east. If we were to drive that way seven and a half hours, you are in San Antonio. Um, nine and a half hours, Dallas. It's, Texas is so so huge okay let me show you something else all right those mountains over there that you see are in a different country the last part that you see far away that is a different country it is Ciudad Juarez Mexico we are even a car by car. We are about five, about five to ten minutes from Mexico City, from Mexico. Okay, that's basically it. Let's get to painting. All right, let's see our colors. We have titanium white, burnt umber, cadmium lemon, cadmium yellow medium, permanent green light. Cerulean blue, thalo blue, ultramarine blue, um, doxacin purple, orange, thalo red rose, alizarin crimson. So let's begin to mix our colors, okay? Okay, we're ready to start and we're going to paint these two grapes here all right so let's begin first I'm applying some of the cool reds here the blending I will do afterwards
Now you notice that what I'm doing is I'm putting in a variety of colors, almost in a rainbow type style. This, what I'm doing is more interesting than if I were to take, say, green, put green all over, and then put black on one side, and then white on the other side. That is absolutely boring when you, people do that. Grapes generally are not like that. Grapes are full of color. All right, we have a little shading area here. darker area before the reflected light. And now before our highlight we have a little bit of a little bit of blue there. A light blue. light purple here. And our highlight. I'll tell you what, let's leave that for now. Well, let me emphasize this dark a little more. Okay, let's leave that for now. We'll come back and blend it in a little bit. We will now move on to our next grape. In our next grape, we have a light greens. Okay, and then we have darker greens. You see how sometimes I pull it like that? Because that will help me when I begin to do the blending. Okay, our next color. Little bits of purple. and pinks. Okay, now this time I'm pulling that way. Now 
Now there is um, a little bit of shade in this area. And we have a shadow right here. All right, let's do some blending. And the afterwards, if we still need, we'll do more detail. That's okay. So now, I, first of all, I clean my brush. <clears throat> Looks like I need to adjust some color right here. And I see a shadow right here too. Okay, so I clean my brush off and we will start to blend. I'll start right here. If you've seen in my other videos, I clean my brush, lay it very low and start to bring all the colors together. So. At the same time that I am blending, I'm also pushing colors around. Sometimes I scoot them more in one area, sometimes I scoot them out of a particular area. For example here, I'm cutting down on the green a little bit, so I'm pulling some of the gray purples close to it. Okay, I want more shadow here. Now we're going to um, put some highlights up here. Let's blend all of these. I want to bring color closer to the edge. Very good. All 
All right, I'm taking the detail brush and I'm going to put a little bit of the part down here at the bottom. And some over here. Now these are just not black, they're dark colors. This one I, I'm mixing with the purple, brown, blues. See the little imperfections in the grape. imperfections all right why don't we take some almost white and um, put a little edging right at the top right here in between the little shadow. All right, very nice. Now we will go on to the next grape. Okay, we're ready to start on our next grape. And the same, clean my brush, dry my brush and we will begin to blend. This is the shadow. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Sometimes I barely touch the brush. I don't put much pressure on it. Other times more. I just saw there's some light blues here. Let's do highlights and imperfections. Light. Light. Now let's do some imperfections.
for that I'm using kind of a like a mixture of purple and browns a little bit of light blue here on the edge. And a little bit of stronger white. There was one more area I wanted to adjust. I need more contrast between the two grapes. So I go here. Got it. That's it. That's our basic grapes. And I hope you enjoyed it.